We need to take a second to talk about the Tailwind Ghostwriter AI. Now, maybe it's because I've been a blogger for over 20 years or just that I'm a writer at heart, but every AI that I've used thus far, I've really struggled to genuinely enjoy in any such way because it's always sounded so unnatural that even using it to set the foundational pieces to create content has been kind of wonky and just not worth my time. But then Tailwind Ghostwriter came on the scene. But it came free with the plan I already had in place, so I figured, duh, I'm going to give it a try. And yeah, I'm officially obsessed. If you want to talk about a powerful tool that actually creates natural-sounding, engaging copy that's genuinely helpful and an actual time saver, Tailwind Ghostwriter is it. I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works, but I do want to say that I did write an actual full-on review of this on my blog, so check the link in the description for that. But let's dive into this. All right, so full disclaimer, I did use it to see if I could draft up a little bit of a script for a starting point. And I mean, look at this. This took me literally probably 10 seconds. And so naturally, of course, the results are definitely going to vary depending on what you're using it for, what you're looking for, the content that you're creating and all of that. So I'm not saying that this is always going to just take you 10 seconds and woo, you're ready to go. But it definitely gives you an amazing starting point. Um, but let's let's look at how it is uh, if I wanted to create a pin description, because this is something where, you know, as you may know, if you're into Pinterest marketing at all, Pinterest is a visual search engine, and so, you know, SEO is obviously key there. And so let's say that I want to create a pin description to talk about how to use Pinterest as a marketing tool for an online business. So we're going to click, we are posting about informational content about how to use Pinterest to market your online business. And naturally, we do want to feed it a little bit, right? We want to add in some keywords or phrases that are going to help it along so that it better knows what it is that we're looking for. The better that you feed it, the better the outcome, right? So if you're kind of just giving it a little bit of bits and pieces, it's still going to put out probably something that's really helpful for you to springboard off of. But again, the more that you can give it, the bigger chunk you're going to have to start with when it comes to what it is that you are wanting to create. So if we're talking about Pinterest marketing, right, we're going to put Pinterest marketing, um, online business. Let's say that we are um, talking about how to, you know, just use social media marketing in general. Um, we want to grow an online business and we want to how to use Pinterest in general. Um, and let's, you know, let's say since I am a blogger, we'll say um, Pinterest for bloggers. And let's just see what it puts out. I'm not going to add a call to action in here, a CTA, um, just because I typically don't with my Pinterest descriptions. Um, that is something that's totally up to you. But while we do that, we'll go ahead and hit generate description and it looks at Pinterest, right? And that's the beautiful thing about Tailwind being so well versed, in my opinion, with Pinterest and having started as a Pinterest scheduling tool is that it does give us this opportunity to really dive into what Pinterest is already saying. Um, and you can trust what it is that it's putting out. And something else that I love is that it gives you options. So you can read through these three different pin descriptions that it's provided. And obviously you can copy and paste one of them um, and just plug it into your pin. I don't recommend that. I do recommend personalizing it a little bit more because it is important to stay authentic to your brand, to your voice. But this is such a beautiful starting point to where if it usually took you, you know, five, 10 minutes to write a pin description, you're having to kind of rack your brain for more keywords that you might not otherwise think of with what this now provides. I mean, it can be such an amazing, time saver. I mean, legitimately, it blows my mind each and every time that it's providing these results. And so what I like to do again is to kind of read through the different descriptions that it's now given me. I might go with one to edit or I might pull, pull bits and pieces from two or three of these and kind of piece it together again so that it still sounds like me, right? It's still natural. It's still original. It's still engaging. It's still me, but now it's done in a literal fraction of the time. And there are so many other ways to use Tailwind Ghostwriter. I mean, it just, I could literally spend an entire day here generating content, have content for weeks, right? Just ready to go for so many different platforms. I mean, it is truly an absolute game changer. In fact, if you go read my review on Tailwind Ghostwriter on my blog, again, full honest disclaimer here, I used this to draft the outline 
based on the title. And so let's see. I'm curious if it's going to give me the same results I got the other day. So how to use Tailwind Ghost Rider AI. I'm curious if it's going to give me... Um, so I think I did Copywriter AI, Ghost Rider, Tailwind app. Um, I don't think I fed it that much, to be honest. So let's see. Let's just see what sort of outline it gives me with this. Um, and again, this is just a starting point like any AI tool. But having used multiple AI tools myself, I have to tell you that this is by far and away the best AI tool that I've used. And I've been using them now since, you know, I'm not going to name names, but the very first one that really came out for bloggers that had to change its name. Um, I tried that one for a while and it's a decent tool, right? But it, it, it can't compare. This really is just blowing everything else out of the water. And so this is actually giving me a slightly different um, group of subheadings than I used in my own blog. So again, you can kind of utilize this a little bit, use it to build a springboard something, you know, whatever kind of content you're creating, and then come back to it if you need more. Come back to it if you know you've got this amazing blog post and now you're stuck on what to put on Instagram to promote it. Or you've got this amazing blog post that now, again, you don't know what sort of pin to put out. Or again, you know you want to write a blog post on how to meal plan effectively, right, for a family of four, but you're kind of stuck as to what that full outline might look like because you're just getting started maybe or, you know, you're not really well versed in SEO. So you really need some headlines that you can trust will bring in results. Tailwind Ghostwriter provides all of that and then some. So go check it out. Read my full review on my blog. Again, that's linked in the description below. If you have any questions about Tailwind Ghostwriter, let me know. But it is included in their free forever plan. So you can check out Ghostwriter for yourself with zero catch, zero obligation. If you love it, which you will, great. Keep going with it. If you don't, there's no harm, no foul. So go check it out. I will leave a link to that directly as well. Of course, that is an affiliate link, but I tell you what, I would be recommending this whether or not I was an affiliate. But literally, I mean, it's such a game changer for anyone that is creating any kind of content, whether you're a brick and mortar business, whether you're a blogger, whether you're a business coach, whether you are creating content for clients, any kind of content that you are creating, Tailwind Ghostwriter is going to be there to help. So go check it out today. I promise you, you will not regret it.